I'm going to take a wild guess and assume you don't usually read the terms and conditions. As a software developer, I know enough about the licenses to where I don't have to. When I say free software, what comes to mind? You're probably thinking about free-to-play games and not the Free Software Foundation or the GNU project. The problem arises from the English language. To avoid the confusing term free software, we say libre, meaning free as in freedom, or gratis, meaning without cost. Furthermore, open source software is libre and proprietary software is gratis, unless it costs money. Open source software has better security, privacy, and performance because it has third parties who look over its code base. Whereas proprietary software has more developed features, support, and infrastructure because of its increased revenue. On the other hand, proprietary software developers often don't really worry about security or privacy. I, for one, use almost entirely free and open source software, and it's never hurt me in the slightest. Let's look at some common open source licenses. The GPL lets you copy, modify, and distribute the software as long as you keep it under the same license. This is the same license I use for most of my projects. The GNU GPL is the most common free and open source software license. Although the GPL requires a copyright holder, it maintains limited liability and doesn't include a warranty. The GPL is considered the gold standard of software licenses. Other software licenses are held up to this and considered GPL compatible if they're good enough. The LGPL is similar to the GPL, however, it allows the work to be used in projects that are not covered by the same license. The MIT license is a GPL compatible license, which is primarily used as a way for developers to release their code to the public. You can generally expect programs which feel less finished. But that's not to say that all MIT programs are bad. The license is actually very short and can be read easily within two minutes. The Apache and BSD3 clause licenses are very similar to the MIT in that you have very unlimited freedom. However, they also have additional restrictions on trademarks. Although there are plenty of other good licenses, I'd recommend exercising caution and installing something else.